my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. So you guys have been explained um, about my TV that I can't really set it up until I get my internet. So I thought I'd show you it because I'm bored and yeah, why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my knees went. That wasn't good. Oh well, come on then. Let's show you my TV. So right. let me switch it on, which would help a great deal. <laughs> so <clears throat> look how small the remote is. I have seen smaller than that, not going to lie to you. Um, can't find my tripod, I will. So, we pop it on. And it's an LG. There we go, a little bit of movement. Let me just um, wait till this bit's done because we might be here a while. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Sorry. So, praise. So. Here we go. Where are you? So, am I English? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> We're all good. And then obviously, we do this. And Wi-Fi. You see where it's got the Wi-Fi? Yeah. <laughs> so once I connect it to the Wi-Fi, I will have my TV. See, I'm having it where it's Wi-Fi connected and having it where I have Netflix and Prime Video to the point where I'm not paying a TV licence. And the way I'm doing that is by not watching live TV, which means no BBC One. So I will have Netflix and Amazon Prime Video and then on my console I will have Disney Plus. Um, my console being down there so i won't be paying a tv license this will be the cheapest way i can do it and do you know what this is the way forward this is it now guys like connecting your tv with wi-fi no live tv there is a lot of people doing it this way do you know what i mean like i don't do live tv anymore i haven't watched the bbc channel live tv in like ages the only sort of live TV I've watched is when the football's been on the BBC and that's it. And that is really it. So as soon as I get <clears throat> um, my internet, I will be able to do that. I can use wireless, which is plugging my phone in, but I really, I don't want to use all my data. Um, I've got 100 gig and I need it to last for two weeks. Um, so pretty much that is my TV at the moment. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you it and explain a little bit more about my TV for those who were confused. Because there were a number of you that were really confused about my TV. So there you go. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much that has been... Can't find my mug. Okay, thank you found it that has been my tv so i'm sorry to the confusion um they were people that i spoke to the last couple of days that hang on that were really confused about my tv and i thought i would do a video to hopefully stop the confusion and get you to try and understand more about it 
um yeah because i know some people that are still really old fashions that don't understand or know enough about this um um way of having a tv um a lot are so used to watching live tv and having the bbc and paying a tv license they've done it for so long that they've not known there's any other way of doing it and this is just the modern way of how tvs are these days um if i did decide i did want live tv and i did pay a tv license and I did want to watch the BBC. I'd still be able to have the Netflix and the Amazon Prime and all things like that. I just would be paying extra. And if I, if for me personally, I don't see the point in paying a TV license just for Peaky Blinders. And that's the only thing I would end up watching. And to be honest... Peaky Blinders is on Netflix, so I don't need the BBC anyway. The only thing with Netflix is that last time I went on, I didn't, it didn't have series six on there yet. The last ever series. And it's like, but I want my Peaky Blinders. So when I've got internet, hopefully series six, the final series of Peaky Blinders, will be on there. And another good thing about Netflix is I completed Afterlife. And if you haven't watched it, what, what are you doing? You need to watch it because it, oh, it's spot on. And apps, Ricky Gervais is amazing. He had done the best possible ending. And the way he done it was amazing. And for me, I don't think he dragged it on for far too long, especially longer than it should have been. I think what he did was really, really good, and it's so clever, and it draw you in, and lost, there were a number of people that complained about him grieving for too long, but when you love someone that much, and you've been married a long time, and they're so dear to you, and you lose them, I think you would grieve in the same... I mean, everyone grieves differently, but I know you would definitely be upset. And he still went to work, and he still paid his bills, and he still tried to live, you know. And then he had to grieve for his um, uh, dad as well. I don't want to say anything for those that haven't seen it. I think a lot would have seen it by now. And, you know, Stranger Things is coming out soon, the new one. So that's exciting. That'll be out by the time we get Wi-Fi exciting and i all these amazing shows on amazon and netflix with amazon we've got grand tour which i'm obsessed you know you've got james may when he goes to um you know all these different places the traveling that he does you know so many different films on netflix and so many different Disney films, new Pixar coming out on Disney Plus already, when we've just had one, which I love it so much. And I have got that song stuck in my head. We don't talk about Bruno. Do you know what I mean? I can't get rid of it. I can't wait to use my TV is all I'm saying. But it is run by Wi-Fi. I don't pay a TV license. New TVs you have an option okay it's not you have to pay tv license that you're stuck with the bbc you can be rid of it if you want to and i'm rid of it because it's going to cost a lot of money and there's no point me paying it for a channel i can watch on a different service well program not channel program so yeah hopefully when i get my tv license not TV license. When I get my internet, I can go on Netflix and watch the final series of Peaky Blinders. I watched most of the first episode at um, Lucas's mum's when I stayed there before moving in here. But I forgot 
that it was on the BBC and they don't pay the TV licence to have the BBC. So I had to turn it off. But then I soon realised that it was on Netflix. And that's when I soon discovered that Series 6 wasn't even on there yet. And I was so frustrated. But then I got really happy because then I realised that once the series is over, I can binge it instead of waiting a whole week for the next episode. I can bitch it. Bitch it. <laughs> oh my god, I can binge it for like as long as I want. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I'll be glad when I can find out where my nearest pharmacy is because I'm when I get low on my sertraline, I can deal with that. <laughs> Why did I say what I said? Please don't watch it back. <laughs> oh, the other day, I spoke to a really, really good friend who totally helped me out. And it was someone that I really cheered me up, that I really needed to talk to. And if he watches this, he has no idea how much I really needed that chat on the phone. That 40 minutes was so, so needed. So if you're watching this, mate, thank you so much. You know who you are. I don't need to say any names, but he just needs to know that I bloody love you. And you're amazing. And you're like a brother to me. And knowing that if you had a sister, you'd love her to be like me, made my bloody day. <laughs> So thank you so much, my darling. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. Fantastic.